to another video. In this one I am showing you how to use neon pigments to do a couple of designs. So I'm just showing you here which ones I'll be using. I'm going to be using all of these. They're from Magpie and I'm just mixing them with Plain Jane which is white gel polish. So when I've done that, I'm going in with black gel polish now um, for this design because I'm going to be putting holographic chrome over the top. So I've gone in with my black and now I'm just going in with a coat of Don't Be Tacky Top Coat. This is perfect for chrome because it self levels and makes it really smooth for the perfect chrome application. So once I've applied that, I've gone in with Velvet Top Coat from Blue Sky, just because I prefer to paint on a matte surface, and then I'm just taking off the tacky layer, and then I'm basically just going to draw stripes. I'm just putting really small lines there first, just to make sure that they're all going to fit on well, and then obviously if not, I can just take them off and do them again. It's not wasted too much product, but it turned out fine, so I went ahead and filled them in.
Okay, so I did do a second coat of all the colours off camera and I'm just going in with Don't Be Tacky, which obviously will make them all nice and shiny and also, and also will reveal the shine of Aurora, which is just stunning holographic. Okay, so next up I'm going in with Plain Jane again, which is obviously white gel polish. I've put a coat of Plain Jane on and not cured it. Um, just to, it didn't really do much to be fair, because the pigments don't move around much with gel polish, but just made them, I don't know, just marble a little bit more. It's a bit pointless really, it's not really necessary, you can just do it straight on to cured white instead of into the wet white. Okay, so just to blend them all in a little bit more, I used my ombre brush, just so it wasn't really obvious, like thick lines. And then I just outline with, I think it's pink, if I remember rightly, and a bit of glitter. Okay, so for the next design, I'm going to be using the sponge method. Um, I'm just dipping it into the colours that I want to use and then just going ahead and dabbing it onto the nail. This is a perfect way to do an ombre as well. Um, I didn't really care about blending as such because I'm going to be going over the top with um, glitter anyway. So that kind of did the blending for me and I kind of wanted it to be alternate colours I didn't want it to blend too much anyway so it was quite easy so I just dab the colours on and then just put similar colour glitters over the top I think I used Isabella from Magpie for the purple and then Delilah for the blue
Okay, so this one is nearly finished, so I'm going to leave here. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm so, so grateful to everyone for showing me support during this really weird time we're all going through. It's nice that something positive has come from it. So thank you all so much for watching my videos and subscribing, and I'll be back soon. Bye!